What you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a traffic truck skin for ETS2 using Mod Studio 2, and it's coming up after this. What's you guys, welcome back to Game Take. So today we're going to be making a traffic truck skin, and I'm going to show you all the little things that happened along the way. Uh, there will be bits where I'll be speeding up and uh, I'm not going to be too particular with the colours and stuff So let's go over and we're going to go in and we're going to open up Mod Studio 2 first off Once we've got Mod Studio 2 open, we're going to come across to the MS2 directory We're going to come into Data, Mod Projects, ETS2 And we're going to go to Templates And we're going to come down to Traffic Truck And I'm going to do this DAF I'm just going to open it with paint.net So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my colour I'm going to add a new layer We'll come up and I'm going to use the rectangle tool Because I want to try a gradient on this one Draw a square down the bottom half of the uh, cab and then we'll paint bucket tool that one in blue and I'm going to click the gradient I'm just going to pull down with the cross from the top then I'm going to come across and I'm going to duplicate that layer then come up to layers and flip horizontal so that it appears on the other side exactly the same then we're going to add a new layer I'm going to come across again, I'm going to take the box I'm going to do the top half of the cab now So I'm not being too particular with the colours But I'm just showing you that you can use a gradient And then for this one we'll change the colour to the white being the primary And we'll colour that in, then we'll duplicate that layer Go up to layers again, flip horizontal And that's the cab done with a bit of a gradient down the bottom half of it and then we'll just deselect those layers so that we can see the uh, template underneath and we're going to come across to text and we'll change the color to black we'll come on, let's get a, a nice font we're going to go with something really simple beavers noi we're just going to write out a little bit of text game take international we've gone international for the day and we'll change the size on that a bit That's better And then what we'll do is we'll Duplicate that layer And we'll use the pixel mover And move it across I'm going to use my arrow keys So that it stays on the same layer And obviously I've sped this up and Then we're going to come down Add a new layer I'm going to use the rectangle tool again and I'm going to do these side skirts so we'll just draw a rectangle over that one these side skirts cause me a lot of bother I'll change that to a blue it's probably a different color blue I'll change it to white in fact we'll do it with white and then we'll drag the great hit the gradient again we'll drag it out Make the white the primary one on this side, so it's slightly different. We're going to duplicate that layer. We'll come up and we'll flip it horizontal. And then all we've got to do is move it across. Use the arrow keys again. And then what we'll do is we will go to a text. On the next layer, we need to change that to black. Better. Then we'll duplicate that layer. Pixel mover. And we'll do that again using the arrow keys. Now here, I'm going to hold it dead still. Do you see the way I've got that written? That's actually wrong. It should be that way up. So if you want to skip to the end of the video now, please do so. This, I'm going to carry on with how I found that out and 
how I put it right, etc. Because it's a it's a, a good little tip. And I'm going to speed it up now, and we're going to just basically color the rest of the truck in various different shades and things. And what I did do is you'll see in a little while that I had to go back in two or three times to uh, get them GT haulage correct. I just couldn't get my head around what way around they needed to be. So that's part of the fun of skinning. You have to keep going in and out, in and out. I even ended up putting a, a purple dot on it as well, just to help me out so I knew which one was which. Okay, then what we need to do is we need to come up to file, we need to save that, and then we need to add back in our colours, add in the tops, then I'm going to save that. As a PNG. Now you'll notice I forgot to take the template out, but it didn't seem to matter on this one particularly. So I flattened the layers, went to file, opened MS2, new project, ETS2, and we started, we filled in the mod manifest. Now you will notice the names changing over the next few minutes when we put the new ones in because I had to keep changing the name it was just easier that way used my icon then we came down to traffic truck we went with the staff building our internal name and I also changed the spawn ratio up to 5 didn't know what that meant, not enough items, but I just added the image in. Dragged it into here. Now, if you was to have the pro version, you can see, I think you can put a truck and trailer in at the same time. I haven't got the pro license, but I'm going to be getting it. And then we just need to save it as a Mod Studio 2 project. And then we need to export the mod. When the set is exported, we went to show folder. There it is there, the SCS. So I'm gonna copy that, throw it into my Euro truck, into mod and paste it in and then we'll shut out of those we'll open up the game go to mod manager there it is daft traffic truck put that in confirm the changes and continue the game Now it took me ages to find it. I found my trailer immediately that put turned up, but it took me a long time. I had to mess about with the ratios, but I did eventually find it. And there it is. But as you can see, the GT haulage upside down. So, and you can see on that side as well. So basically I closed back out, went in and made some changes, put that back into Mod Studio, put that back in, that was wrong. So you can you can get the picture i had to just keep trying until i got it around the right way which i eventually did which is what i'm going to show you now so reopening up paint.net so i'm going to go to layers on that one that particular layer i'm going to flip it vertical i'm going to drag it down so it's that way around purple dot really helped actually and then i saved that one 
and then I saved that as a PNG and I replaced the one that I'd already made flatten the layers and we went back in and now you open the project and you just open your recent project if you go to it you'll see when I click on images you'll see it's changed because you've overwritten so you don't need to go in and like do everything again all you do need to do is to export it so I exported it this time it got named daft I was feeling pretty and then I replaced the one that I'd already made again exported it then we went to showing folder and I copied the new one that I'd done again went back to Euro Truck mod and I pasted it in if you look over there it told me to replace the file in that destination so I did that so you haven't had to actually physically take them in and out and opened up the game went to mod manager there it was as you can see still active continued the game and this time with a lot of searching and a lot of speeding up the traffic and stuff eventually here it comes and so this time you can see it's actually on the right it's the right way up obviously you wouldn't have a purple dot on there but it's the right way up and uh, if you can look on the door you can see the way that the um, shading's gone from blue down to white that was what I wanted to try on that particular bit. I didn't bother with the others. I just stuck a blue. And there it is correct on that side. So that's so you can use a gradient on the cabs, which is something I'm going to be using a lot more. So I do like messing about with gradients. And uh, anyway, guys, so that is how you do a traffic truck, complete with mistakes. And uh, I hope that helps you out. I'll catch you in the what will be the last one of the Mod Studio 2 mini series, And that'll be me in next week. Bye for now.